To do simple mole calculations, we need three different quantities. And the first one is the number of moles, and we just indicate that by the letter M, right? So N is our number of moles. And the unit we're going to give that um, is just mole, right? So it's our unit there, mole. The second thing is the mass of our substance. So M, or little m, is the mass in grams of our substance. And then finally, we have the molar mass, which we give a capital M, just to be nice and confusing. So a small m for mass and capital M for the molar mass. And the unit we're going to give that is grams per mole. So that's g mole to the negative 1. Now, the way these work together is the formula we're going to use is number of moles equals the mass of the substance divided by the molar mass. Or simply n equals little m over big M. And of course, that is going to work with um, a simple triangle that you might remember from year 11 or other subjects in year 12. If I just draw up this triangle, we can put m, sorry, n in the left corner, little m up the top, and big m down the right. And just by covering up one of those, you can rearrange that formula nice and easily. So if you want the mass, it's going to be the number of moles times the molar mass. And um, not really too useful, but if you did want to work out the molar mass using this formula, it would be the mass divided by the number of moles. But like I say, that's not too useful because we can just calculate that molar mass from the periodic table. So what we're going to look at first is how do we calculate the amount of moles of a substance if we know its mass? All right, so I'm just going to scroll down and give us a bit of space, but leave that up there. So like I said, we want to know the number of moles and we have the mass. And so the example we're going to look at is we're going to um, calculate um, the number of moles um, of copper sulfate in 20 grams of solid. So in order to do this calculation, we're going to use our formula n equals a little m over big M. Now we know our mass the mass we have of copper sulfate from our question is 20 grams. The other piece of information we need is the molar mass. And the molar mass we always know because we can just calculate it from the periodic table. So if we look at our periodic table and we get the atomic mass of copper, that is 63.5. Make that decimal a bit bigger. Um, Sulfur is 32.1. Sorry, I've got this off to the side here. And then we also want to add 4 oxygen. So that's going to be 4 times 16. And if we add all those up, we get a molar mass of 159.6 grams per mole. So remember, that just means for every one mole of copper sulfate we have, we have 159.6 grams of it. So I have all the data I need now to complete this question. So I'm just going to put those numbers into my formula. N equals little m over big M. So I have 20 grams. And I want to divide that by 159.6 grams per mole. And I'm just going to scroll down and give myself a bit more space. And when I put those numbers into a calculator, what comes out the other side is quite a long, ugly number. I get 0 0.12531. And as we're in level 2 chemistry, we're going to round that number to three significant figures. So my answer is going to end up being 0 0.125 mole. And that is to 3SF. We're now going to look at a different use of the formula. We're going to rearrange it. And this time, instead of calculating the number of moles, we're going to look at a question in which we already know the number of moles, and we're going to use that to calculate the mass. 
we're going to calculate the mass of 0 0.25 mole of magnesium chloride, which is MgCl2. So for this question, I'm rearranging my formula. So I started with N equals the mass divided by the molar mass. In this case, I want the mass. So I'm going to rearrange that to give me mass equals the number of moles times the molar mass. So you could argue that this is a slightly easier type of question because we're doing a simple multiplication. So just like before, I need two bits of information before I can calculate the mass. The first bit of information is given to me in the question. So the number of moles of MgCl2 is 0 0.25, whoops, 25 mole. And the molar mass, I can always work out just by looking at the periodic table. So my molar mass of MgCl2 is the atomic mass of magnesium, which is 24.3, um, plus 2 times the atomic mass of chlorine, which we'll just use 35.5. So when I put this into a calculator, I get a molar mass of 95.3 grams per mole. So now I'm just going to simply plug these numbers into the formula. Mass equals the number of moles times the molar mass. So I just go 0 0.25 times uh, the molar mass of 95.3. And when I put that into calculator, I get a mass of 23.8 25 grams and again we're year 12 so we're just going to use three significant figures so that gives me 23.8 grams excellent any questions uh, feel free to send me an email thanks very much guys